Hi folks, Tim here again with timsclass.com. In our series on power tools, we're gonna to cover a couple different tools this morning. Uh, we've got our jigsaws uh, that we're gonna cover and we're gonna cover our handheld router. So you'll notice I got two different ones of each one. One of them is battery operated and the other one is corded. Uh, interesting to note, this particular one put out by Porter Cable, this is an older one back when Porter Cable had some good quality tools, but uh, you'll notice it doesn't have a grounding plug on it, and that's because this tool is double insulated. And what that simply means is there's no metal parts that your hand ever comes in contact with. So there's no worry of being shocked from an ungrounded tool. You'll notice a couple of things. Let me just go over this real quick with you. And they work pretty much the same on both tools, whether it's battery operated or corded. To put the uh, blade in, first of all, always make sure it's unplugged. You wanna always keep safety in mind first. Notice also I'm not wearing gloves. You don't wanna wear gloves when you're dealing with power tools. So on this particular one, you've got a little lever right here. You just push that down and the blade comes in and out. So you push that down. I don't know if you can get a picture of that. And the blade slides in there and locks in place. And there's a little roller pin there that that secures against and the blade is good and solid and ready to go. This little side right here basically tells you how much pressure to put on that blade. And we're gonna put maximum pressure on it, leaning it forward. All right, a couple other things this tool does. It will tilt. So if I need to cut something on an angle, I can. I've got different degrees there for right now, though. For this lesson, we're just going to keep it on a 90 degree and keep it locked back. Okay? So we've got the tool all set up and ready to go. We're going to plug it in and show you how this thing works. All right. This is for doing intricate work. Maybe you've got a piece of wood and you want to, you want to cut something like that out of it. Okay? It's not a straight line. So that's what you're gonna use this jigsaw for. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna make sure I've got my cord out of the way. I'm gonna put my saw flat down on the deck. All right, I'm gonna start it up. cut off our piece of wood. One of the things that new people that are new to this and using it, you have to actually overcompensate on the turn. So where you think you might be able to just barely turn, you've got to really turn it to get it to go around. And you always keep the blade moving when you're trying to turn. If you stop or let off on the blade, it's gonna be very difficult to make a twist on that. So the jigsaw, let's unplug this. I'm going to set it here out of the way. And we're going to look at the battery operated one. You can see it does the exact same thing. Uh, everything about the tool is pretty much the same, except for this one is cordless. So I'm going to steal this battery out of our cordless router. And I'm going to put this on the jigsaw. And you can see it's going to operate the exact same way. Put the blade in the same way. The only difference on this one the blade, this is your release on the blade. You pull this back, put the blade in, and you're ready to go. So this one's gonna operate pretty much the same way. I'm just gonna follow the same line. give you an idea of how this thing works. So very handy tool. I like the battery operator. It makes it much more portable, easier to get to. So the jigsaw. All right, let's move these out of the way. And we're going to come over and talk about the router for a minute. Let's uh, unclamp this, which by the way, I failed to mention this. Anytime you're working on a piece of wood like this, 
always make sure the wood is secure before you go to work on it. Okay, I've got a couple of pieces of wood here. Let's uh, just put them in place over here in the same fashion. And we're gonna clamp them down. All right, first thing I want to show you on this router, uh, these are your bits. And we've got a little small set of bits here. Something I want you to notice on these, if you'll notice the cutting edges on these bits are like razor blades. So if you can imagine a razor blade spinning around at 10,000 RPMs, that's a router. This is a very dangerous tool. It does a lot of really neat things, but Make no mistake, this, this tool is very, very dangerous. So you've got to be really careful with it when you're using it. Uh, I've seen some horrible accidents where somebody let this slip out of their hands and it ran up their arm, ended up with almost 100 stitches in their arm. So just be very careful when using a router. We're going to start out this time with the battery operated one. This is your adjustment for your depth. And you can see here, you can move the, the fence up and down on this, and it depends on the profile of the bit. This particular bit is gonna actually make a real decorative turn, and that's the reason I've got this old stained piece of wood so you can see what it's gonna do. These are great for maybe you were making bookshelves or picture frames, something to that effect, and you wanted a real fancy edge. This would be a great tool for that. So to put your blades in and out, you've got a lock. That's what this little yellow button is and you would make sure that doesn't turn. You would take a tool, this particular one takes an 11 16th, and you slide it in there and tighten it up or loosen it up. I've already got it tight, so we're gonna leave that in there and it's ready to go. You'll notice a couple other settings. You have a speed control setting here. You wanna keep it, if you're, if you're running this for decorative purposes, keep it up on the highest speed, that's 7,000 RPMs. Uh, just works better, makes for a much smoother cut on the wood. So let's hook up our power to it and we're ready to go. I'm just gonna do a small section here to let you see what kind of profile this could make. that you could use and make with this tool. It's very nice for rounding off the edge or just getting some kind of profile put on your piece of wood. All right, our other one is a corded one. And once again, it's the same setup, little insulated tool. Let me move this out of the way. And I'm gonna lock this down. Just using some old scrap lumber here. This time, I've got a different bit on it. This is a plunge bit, and it's used for making, uh, let's say you wanted to write something in a piece of wood. This is a great bit for that. I've set my depth at about a quarter inch, all right? And you do the same thing when locking it in. This is your lock to tighten up the bit. It's all set and ready to go. Your speed control on this particular one is up top, and we've got it on its max setting, so we're gonna just try and draw something simple in this board. If I were to clean all that out, there's Tim <laughs> for timsclass.com. Hope you got something out of the lesson today. These routers are a great woodworking tool. Hope you get one and try one. Thank you.